me with church and mission. Uh, because I like love the the title, and I'll uh, shorten education education the education for the church to do the mission. Uh, let me give uh, a reason why I mentioned this. Number one, the example is in the history of evangelical church in Bulgaria. When they started uh, evangelical ministry, it was the first church was planted 1851, and in 1862 they start training program for the new believers to bring the gospel to the people in Bulgaria. Bulgaria was not that time independent country. It was under the Ottoman Empire. One thing was historically very good uh, teaching for us. They opened training program not for the three denominations but for the evangelical body. They do not duplicate but they from the very beginning cooperate. I'm ready for the next session about it, maybe the last one. Uh, what was important from 1862 to 1949, this seminary has such a successful training that many politicians, including uh, 11 prime ministers of Bulgaria, after from 1878 until 1944 have been graduated by the Theological Seminary in Sankov. What's happened, I don't know, but just recently, three years ago, one of our uh, colleagues from the faculty, she was German, I'm happy with the Germans, she was doing her uh, PhD and she has written this book. You can go back, it's available in German and English the author is Simone Flat. She discovered, she got all the archive from the Bulgarian libraries and also in Istanbul and the archives of Robert Korch. What was important was the denominations were growing in numbers, the churches were growing in numbers, but the focus was to reach and rich people. And for this purpose they have to work together. I'm proud that in November last year, Albanian Evangelical Alliance invited me and other people from the Balkan countries to go to Tirana to celebrate 125 years of the history of evangelical churches in Albania. For my surprise, when I hear the report, one of the persons who started the evangelical movement in Albania was trained in Samokov and became believer there and they established a training program in Korce. And this is how the movement started. Friends, I'm serious speaking. Working together it is more important than division and have small kingdoms and small ghettos. After 89, I'm not talking for the communist regime now, because there was nothing in the communist regime. Even the orthodox theological faculty was put under such strong control from the communist government that they could not do what they want to do. 89, we restore one about what was close. Again, we restore under one umbrella. One name, 89 to 93, there was only one training institution. Then later, every denomination decided to go and start their own little school. No one has been recognized or accredited or respected by the government or the Orthodox Church. That's why, praise the Lord, for the courage of the leaders of denomination, this time they have not been five only, but they have been more than 15 denominations. They got together and formed Bulgarian Evangelical Theological Institute, one for the whole country. And I'm glad to say this because this is good illustration for next. When we got chance to go and be involved in training in Islamic countries, I was invited to go there in 2002. 
and they asked me, can you come and start a Bible university? In northern Iraq, to start Bible university, you have to know where, where you are going. I went there and spent 21 days only visiting different churches, different people, including government. And in the end I say, first, you are speaking not one language, but six. Second, you don't have more than 600 believers in this country. Uh, next, what is the most important, you don't have literature, neither Bible in five of the six languages. That's why let's be flexible and develop a practical training program. They kick me out and in three months invite me back. And we have now privilege to see well-developed training which actually is doing with a blessing from the government of Northern Iraq, Skirtistan. Some of you are afraid to go. Take a flight and come. But this is where now most of the leaders or pastors are trained from those programs. Some of them do not have those people from, uh, from uh, uh, part of Roma community. Those people, some of them did not have even high school. But they have been living under persecution. We provide on a discipleship level. We learn that to keep the purpose is more important than to keep forms. Am I sure? Did you understand? If it's necessary, we can change forms, but keep purpose. Ten years ago, oh no, more, 18 years ago, we have, I'm finishing, Peter, uh, we have Evangelical Alliance discussing in the beginning of 21st century, what is the most important for Evangelicals? And most of them says, Gospel of Jesus Christ. In the beginning, we decided on the 21st century to bring the gospel to evangelize is the most important and this is the conclusion for me are we helping the church to live with the gospel to bring the gospel and save our nation thank you thank you thank you any questions comments that immediately, otherwise, I can't. All right, your colleague, he will be translated.